Dog. And welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where I sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt Zion here. We are back at McDonald's. Uh, specifically, this is a sequel to a video that I will have uh, linked down below in the description. Watch that one as well. But uh, Australia, a place I would love to go one day, although there's so many critters there that would try to probably climb into my shoe and stab me. Uh, but our good friend, Defensive Wounds, who lives out there, uh, sent us yet another another seasoning for fries. We got our little fry baggie, uh, and the seasoning this time, his last time it was just spicy fries or something like that. This one is El Mako Shaker Fries seasoning. Apparently this is like a burger, like I'm looking at the description online, and it says, Due to popular demand, the El Mako, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, is back. Available in chicken or beef topped with cheese, tomato, lettuce, and served with our sour cream and El Mako sauce. That's for their burger, their crispy jalapeno El, El Mako Mako burger. Uh, but again, he gave me the fries, so the description on that says, Picture McDonald's iconic French fries dusted with Mexican-inspired El Mako seasoning. It's probably El Mako, isn't it? And I'm probably just being, like, super white. But I went to my local McDonald's because obviously he cannot ship uh, fries. So we got our McDonald's fries here. Ooh, come here. Come here, baby. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it. They tried this gimmick out here. They really did. Um, it just, it did not. It didn't catch. I remember, it was this one, it wasn't that long ago, but they did, they tried to get people to do this whole, like, shake your fries and, like, nuggets and stuff. It just didn't work. But there we go. There's our little sauce packet. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put it in, and we'll see what's up. Thank you to Defensive Wounds, by the way. This guy, I mean, total friend, total bro of the show. Known him forever. Uh, make sure to check out his SoundCloud account. It's linked down below as well as a thank you, because he, uh, he sent another fan package as well. So all kinds of goodies, lots of M&Ms, Pringles. Um, unfortunately, the Spider-Man homecoming chips didn't make it, but every time he sends something, something like shows up and it's, uh, it's broken open. It's such a long journey. Okay, we have got them in there. So we roll that up. Ooh, I can smell that. And shake it up. Ooh, shake it up. If, <laughs> I never would have trusted bags out here at our McDonald's because, like, it's such a cheap organization. <laughs> it just wouldn't happen. They are all taken care of in there. Woo! Man, that is, ooh, that is spicy smelling. All right, here we go, let's try it. Now, last time I remember thinking the fries were better on their own than with the seasoning. This one? Now, I like the flavor on this one, but McDonald's fries are so good. I mean, they're so good. It's one of the few things they do really well. I'm not sure if I want this, uh, it's kind of like a spicy, it's like a spicy Mexican seasoning, basically, on my fries. Right, I'm going to try to go to, like, the very bottom. Let's get, like, a super coated fries. Yeah. I like the seasoning overall. Uh, it's better than the previous one. But again, the same exact problem has come into play. I'm not, I'd much rather just have the fries by themselves. Um, adding a seasoning to it doesn't really do anything for me personally, other than, you know, just distracting from the whole point to begin with. I, I like, I just, I like McDonald's fries as is. I don't like dipping them in anything. I don't like adding them to anything. And that's like a total contradiction compared to like other places, like Jack in the Box that's coming up tomorrow. And whenever I get their fries, I, can't, I dip them in all kinds of stuff, ranch, you know, ketchup, whatever. But as far as McDonald's fries are, leave them alone. They're perfect as is. Like, it's again, it's one of the few things, those and their nuggets are the few things they do really, really well. Um, still, I like the gimmick. I wish they would do it more out here. I think it's very funny that Australia came out with basically what essentially is something that's common out here in Southern California, which is like, here's Mexican seasoning. Oh! <laughs> so I think that that's, uh, that's pretty cute. Uh, either way, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's a decent gimmick. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, a very solid four out of five matte faces. Still tastes good. You know, it's one of those things that could prolong the experience of eating the fries. But again, personally, I would just eat the fries as is, as they get a five out of five because they're just really good. But hey, defensive wounds. Thank you so much for sending this. And you, at home, not defensive wounds. Now I already thanked him. But you at home, yeah, you, you, yeah, Trevor. What's up, man? How you doing? It's good to see you. Make sure to give us a like on this video, uh, as well as going over onto our Twitter and retweeting it. Uh, you know, just all our content in general. It always helps when you guys retweet. Uh, and also tell me, uh, do you think that my anus is shaved, trimmed, or is it a welcome to the jungle, baby? 